The reinforced posterior leg splint with its butterfly shape is the ideal immobilization form for severe ankle sprains, strains, and fractures. To start, measure from the tip of the toe to the ankle and from the ankle to two finger widths below the popliteal sciatic pressure point. You then cut the desired length of the splint. You can open the padding completely. If you use a bucket of water or faucet for water activation, you do not need to open it. For smoother edges of the substrate, trim them with scissors. Now mark a point at the base of the heel. Follow the substrate approximately 10 centimeters, 4 inches in both directions and draw a horizontal line. Divide these two fields in half again and mark the edges of this cutout diagonal. Cut these four lines and fold the butterfly in towards the middle of substrate at a curve. This creates a reinforced yet open area. Reclose the padding. Optional, you can cut the butterfly wings out of the padding and leave a margin of padding on each side. Activate splint with water. Afterwards, you apply the splint to the patient. Be sure to place the reinforced side away from the patient to avoid pressure points. Start applying at the calf and go over the heel to the toes. For a strong immobilization, wrap distal to proximal beginning at the ankle and continuing towards the toes. Make sure that the toes are not constricted. Now, take a second bandage and wrap up and down the leg to secure the splint. Please be aware to have the end of the second bandage near the ankle again. Trim the splint to the shape of the patient's foot. Then, you take a third bandage and wrap around the splint and foot. Finish the application by fixating the bandage with a tape or hook and loop fastener.